Eastleigh Dreamers, welcome to a very special video because today we're learning English with Ed Sheeran. I know, I'm excited too. We're going to be looking at his song Shape of You and we're going to pick out some really interesting language that he uses. Now I think learning English through songs is a fantastic way to improve your vocabulary, your listening skills, your grammar, everything. It's a brilliant way to improve your English. And of course, it's super fun. Ed, take it away, my man. The club isn't the best place to find a lover, so the bar is where I go. The club just means nightclub. It's the short form. Um, it's the place where people go at night time to dance. Uh, a, an example sentence would be, um, I haven't been to a club for ages. I haven't been to a club for ages. And that's true, I, I really, I haven't been to a club for a long time. I should go. Me and my friends at the table doing shots, tripping fast and then we talk slow. Me and my friends, the correct grammatical form should be my friends and I. I know it's, it's it can be common use to say me and my friends, I know I do it, but you guys should know the correct form is my friends and I. Doing shots or to do a shot is to drink a small amount of alcohol, it's usually strong alcohol, um, a spirit, something like vodka or whiskey. An example sentence might be, uh, hey guys, let's do shots. Hey guys, let's do shots. Girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Handmade is an adjective and it literally means made by hand, so not made by a machine. Typically we think about uh, things like handmade chocolate or handmade clothes and usually we think about it as having a better quality, a higher standard than something that's made by a machine. Now I hear Ed is talking about love being handmade, so it's not obviously literal but maybe that that love is, is of a higher quality than, um, than others. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and come say hi in the comments below. I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull like a magnet do. Although my heart is falling too. I'm in love with your body. We push and pull like a magnet do. This is grammatically incorrect. It should be, we push and pull like a magnet does. Magnet, it does. However, Ed has chosen to use the grammatically incorrect sentence because do rhymes with you. And this is normal. In songs, you're going to find grammatically incorrect sentences and sometimes vocabulary that's not quite right because the, the writer wants to rhyme a word or they just like the feel of a certain sentence. And this is totally normal. But it's good for you guys to know the grammatically correct sentence. When we can, we let the story begin. We're going out on our first day. Mm. You and me are thrifty, so go all you can eat. Fill up your bag and I fill up the plate. A date, of course, is a romantic meeting between two people. Ed here has used go on a date as the verb. Um, so uh, you might say, I'm going on a date this Friday, for example. You could also say to have a date. So I have a date this Friday. Ed here is going on a first date. Another type of date is a blind date and this is when the two people going on the date have never seen each other, they don't know much about each other, probably their friends have arranged a date. Um, I've been on one of them uh, and uh, we had to wear a flower, we both had to wear a flower to recognise each other. Two phrases here, firstly thrifty, thrifty which is an adjective to mean that you're responsible with your money, so you use it carefully. Second one, all you can eat. This is a buffet, so you go to a restaurant, you pay one price and you can eat all the food that they have there for you. We talk for hours and hours about the sweet and the sour and how your family's doing okay. We talk for hours and hours. This means that we talked for a long time. It's an informal way to say that. And this is actually a nice structure that we use to say a long time. You can also use days and days, or weeks and weeks, or years and years. Uh, an example might be, I haven't been to the gym for weeks and weeks. 
I haven't been to the gym for weeks and weeks. And that just means I haven't been to the gym for a long time. I'm in love with your body. Every day discovering something brand new. I'm in love with the shape of you. Come on, be my baby. Come on, be my baby. Come on, be my baby. Come on. Come on, be my baby. Ed here is asking the girl to be his girlfriend or to be an official couple. Now, come on, baby. Baby is an affectionate term for a loved one. Uh, you might replace it with uh, be my darling, be my honey, uh, be my love. There are lots of different words in English to, to say that. Guys, which song would you like to learn English from next? Let me know in the comments below. Maybe we could do Adele, maybe I could do Coldplay. You guys choose, tell me in the comments below, which song would you like to learn English from next so I can do it for you, all right? Thank you for watching today. Remember to check out my website, which is eatsleepdreamenglish.com. It has so many other English lessons waiting for you. Until next time, this is Tom, the English hipster, saying goodbye.